Um, if you do not recognize me, my name is Michelle. I am here with a maker studio. We are outside of Memphis, Tennessee. And if you'll notice, things are a little off today. I don't have my partner in crime and mother maker, Amy. She is out of town and I get to come to you and keep the tradition going strong of bringing you a new stencil. So today we have this amazing new stencil called Lace. And um, I don't know if you can tell, but we've laced just a section of this great little terracotta pot. I'm loving it. So I'm gonna show you how to do this today. I'm gonna show you how to put some lace on a denim jacket, but this is that new stencil design. And it is a beautiful vintage lace design. Um, the cutout, the filigree, it's absolutely beautiful. And so we have etched with it on glass. Um, you know we love to etch. This is going to make either a beautiful drinking glass or votive. It is just precious and the, um, Intensity is amazing in the design. And then we've also got some really cute um, napkins in green that we're gonna show you. We have these amazing plates that are kind of a lace fade. And so we're gonna be showing you that later in another video. And then I'm also gonna be working on this amazing little jacket with you guys today. So you can see the lace inlet on the yoke as well as the sleeve and the front pocket. It's Awesome. So I am so excited that you're joining me today. As always, if you are catching us live, number one, say hi. Uh, tell me where you are watching from. Tell me how you're doing. Um, a personal thank you to all of you who watched our wedding and celebrated alongside us. Um, just so grateful to be a part of this tribe. So thank you, thank you, thank you for um, joining us on our wedding weekend. And um, I just am overwhelmed by the warm reception and love that I get from this little tribe and community. So thank you. And um, also, remember, sharing is caring. We tell you guys that all the time. So if you will share this video and tag three of your friends, we are going to put your name in a drawing. It will be the rest of today, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, and part of Monday, where we will draw a name, and you're going to get this stencil free. We're going to send it to you, no cost to you, free shipping to you. And I'm actually going to put in two of these beautiful green linen napkins. Um, so you'll get two of those that are finished as well as the lace stencil. And we'll get those um, shipped out to our winner after we draw the name on Monday. So again, sharing is caring. Share the video, tag three friends, and get them in on the fun. So, um... Thanks for joining us. Again, uh, my name is Michelle and my sweet Amy is out of town today, but I am excited to be here with you and start doing some pretty awesome crafting. So we are gonna start with the denim jacket. We are using gel art ink on it in white, which is called Well I Declare. So that's the first project that I'm gonna work on with you. And we're gonna talk about placement and how we did it. And then we will look at this piece as well and I'll teach you how to do it today. So let's get started. Let's get crafty. All right, sweet friends. I have a brand new jacket, but as you see, we have this yoke across here. We have the sleeves done. We have the pocket done on the front. So there's so much that you can do on your personal little denim jacket that you're working on. So I'm gonna show you those steps. We probably will not do everything just because um, we don't have dry time for us to flip it over and work on the opposite side. I am gonna open this jacket up though. As always, we encourage you to put some kind of something behind your fabric so that it doesn't bleed through onto the surface that you're working on or onto the other fabric, especially if you're working like on a t-shirt where you have, you're working on the back, you're working on the front and the other side is actually touching. You wanna make sure that you get something sandwiched in between there so that you don't have bleed through. That's important. And then you just wanna make sure that your surface is flat. I am using Well I Declare. We always have some kind of little something. Right now I have glass to put our medium on um, so that it's just easier to work with that way. 
So I'm going to take my stencil. Again, these are adhesive stencils. It is a tri-mesh stencil that, um, as you can see, it is adhesive, it sticks, but those places that were white are actually mesh. And depending on the size of the jacket that you're working on or the t-shirt or the pocket or whatever, you may have to position more than once um, where you would take off and then come back and do more of the design. This will be one of those cases. Because as you can see, I can't quite cover the entire yoke with this one stencil. This is an eight and a half by 11 stencil, which makes it very versatile and easy to work with on smaller surfaces, but also on large surfaces. So you have options. And gel art ink is a permanent screen printing type medium. So it is, um, like screen printing, we go ahead and we push it through the mesh, which is the process of screen printing as well. But you will heat set it when you're done. So you can use it on multiple surfaces. You can use it on um, like wooden surfaces, but you can also use it on boards, plates, plastic. Those surfaces it's not going to be permanent on. If you use it on fabric and you heat set the fabric, which is hot iron, 250 degrees at least, which is typically the cotton setting, for three to five minutes. And you're just going to roll it over the design like this over and over and over for three to five minutes. And that's gonna heat set the gel art into the fabric. And um, as with any screen printed item, like clothing item, you are gonna wanna wash cold and lay flat to dry. And that just protects your design. It keeps it from fading. It's just gonna give you better longevity of the design. So if you'll notice, I am holding with one hand and spreading with the other. Um, Anytime that you're working with the stencil, even though they're adhesive, you want to support it by just holding it down um, so that you don't get movement when you are working in these sections of fabric. Yay, it's coming together. All right, friends, these patterns that we've been releasing recently are what we call a seamless pattern. What that means is that you can lay them back down, match it up seamlessly. So I'm going to show you how to do that when I move over to this next section that I need to finish. And I'm just spreading this on. Whoops. So if you guys are just popping on again, we are launching our new lace stencil. And I am working on a denim jacket on the yoke. And um, there are other sections of it that we have designed as well, like the sleeve, the front pocket. And I'm just currently working on that back yoke to show you how we have done it. Um, we are using Gel Art ink, which is a screen printing medium and is permanent in fabric. And we are pushing it through the mesh with our squeegee. All right, friends, let's peel this and see the magic. Look how beautiful and detailed that is. So when I say that we have a seamless design where this one ends up on this side where I end, it's gonna line back up on this end. So I can lay it back down and find the design, which it is right there, and go again and have a seamless lace design. 
on this yoke. There we go. And I've just got to do this very last corner to finish out the yoke of this jacket. When you're working with the gel art, you want to let it sit for two to four hours before heat setting. That gives the design plenty of time to cure to the fabric and then it will be ready to be heat set. All right, friends. Ta-da. So we have the seamless lace yoke where it comes back over to meet up. And then when we're doing this, we just put it in water. So I'm gonna move this over. Let me show you guys how we wash our stencils. Many of you know you've seen us before, um, but some of you are seeing us for the first time. So you're not quite sure how to care for these stencils. So I'm going to teach you. When we use our stencils, almost all of our products are water-based product. And so it washes off really easily. Um, you are able to just take care of your stencil by washing in water. You don't need soap. Um, it, water is plenty. And you want to rub the medium off of the non-adhesive side. Um, and then once you get that off, you're going to lay it adhesive side up to dry. I always check my adhesive side. Every once in a while, you're going to have some fibers, especially if you're working with a fabric. Um, those fibers might come off on your stencil. Gently rub the back, but you don't want to scrub the adhesive side of your stencil. Looky there. So I'm going to lay this adhesive side up to dry over to the side while I get ready for our next project. All right. This jacket, we would continue to just move to whatever other section you want to do. So if you want to do the pockets, like we have on this one. If you want to do the sleeve, which I think is ridiculously cute, just this little accent on the sleeve, I think it's gorgeous. Or if you want to, we even put a tiny bit of white right here just to kind of lighten up the pocket where it has a little bit more dimension than it would had it not. So you can really see that pop in the overhead um, that there's white just along here. And you can do that with an artist brush. You can do that with a squeegee. You can do it with your finger. You're just wiping it across that section of denim. So when you're working on a piece, another fun thing to do would be the collar. If you're going to do um, the pockets, you could also do the collar instead of the yoke. So many different ways to be creative and really put this together where it says what you want to say about yourself and your fashion. But this stencil, it just gives you that opportunity to take it to the next level, as Amy likes to say. So we've taken this jacket to the next level. Now I'm going to teach you how to take this sweet little pot to the next level. Little terracotta pot, y'all. We love our Target hacks. This is a Target hack. We got these in the dollar spot. They were $3.00. Um, and they're just this cute little terracotta pot. They've got a plug. They're awesome. And you're going to need some painter's tape for this one because we're actually going to create our shape with the painter's tape. And that is going to allow us to make the sharp line across the bottom here that we have. And then it's also going to allow me to line these sides so I get this angling where I'm not worried about um, getting it on the rest of the pot and I have a line to work with. So you are just going to lay your tape and you'll wanna burnish it really well so that you can get it to lay flat. And it's going a little crooked. So you just wanna play with it until you get it all the way around so you can make sure that it's even line up. There we go. Sorry, I was not doing that well under the lights. There you go, friends. So I've laid it out where it's straight. And so now I'm just going to work that edge down that I'm actually going to be painting against because I don't want to get paint up under that. So I'm just burnishing that around the edge so that I have an edge to work with. And this I'm going to paint black. So we have our little baby one step paints and you can get it in black. They're a little four ounce one step paint. 
One Step Paint is permanent medium. It is a water-based paint built around calcium carbonate. So it is a chalk-based paint, which is why you get that beautiful chalky dry finish when you're working with it. Um, when you are using these, you are going to want to use a pouncer. I'm actually gonna paint on with a chip brush. You can also use a sponge brush. Um, if you were doing furniture, I would say synthetic, but because we're working on a terracotta pot, I'm just gonna use a basic chip brush or I would use a sponge brush to do that. And then we're gonna use what we call a pouncer or a foam dome brush when it comes to doing the design. One step paint cannot be brushed onto a design. It needs to be pounced onto a design. The up and down motion keeps it from going under the polymer. And that's when you're gonna get the best design um, when you're using that process. So I'm just gonna load up my chip brush and I'm gonna paint the base of this pot. The beautiful thing about One Step is that it spreads. It's a very thick paint. I probably will not need more than one coat and it dries very quickly um, because it is a chalk-based medium. It dries really quick. I'm gonna put my hand in here, y'all. I should have done that in the beginning. I'd love to know what you guys did for the fourth, how your time was with your families. I know we've been live this week, but I feel like I've missed out. Maybe my head has been elsewhere. Um, ha ha ha. All right. So see, we've got that really good dark black coverage with just one coat of the one step paint, which is awesome. And I'm gonna go ahead and peel this so that it can dry with my line. When you are using one step paint, once it's in place, it's pretty much in place. It's so thick that it's not real drippy unless you put it on really thick. Um, and I just did one coat, so I'm not super drippy. And I can just pull this tape off and get that really sharp line that I want. We're gonna let that dry just really quick. It does not take long. If you, I don't know if you can see it in the overhead, but you can already see where it's getting chalky and then there are lines that are still glossy because it dries that quickly, especially on a terracotta or um, matte surface like this, it dries a lot faster because it is a porous surface and it'll sink into it. So we will have pretty good drying. I'm gonna help it with just a little bit. We're gonna fan that. Because what I'm gonna do is put on a couple more pieces of tape so that um, I can make a design shape for my lace to go in. And that is simply a design choice. Um, Amy talks about composition all the time. You want good composition. You could straight up lace this entire thing. You could do black and lace stripes. There are so many options for how to use this stencil. We went with an asymmetrical design on this. And I love the dimension that it gives it and the character that it gives it. So that's what we're gonna teach you. But honestly, your ideas and your options are endless. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of tape and I'm just gonna go across and give it one line. This is gonna be the line that I'm working on is this front surface. And then I'm going to make another angle on the back or the side, however you want to think about it. And it is gonna be a little bit deeper. So I've got a deeper one here and this one is a little bit more upright. Do you see where those lines are? So I'm gonna lay my stencil over the tape because those blue lines, I'm actually gonna be able to see through the stencil and it's gonna protect me from getting paint over on this part that I want to stay bare. And I have all of my tools right here. I'm actually gonna open a new stencil for this. Now, when working with One Step, it is a permanent medium. So you do not wanna let it dry in your stencil. The One Step paint, if it dries inside of this mesh, it will damage the stencil. Um, you do not want that and we do not want that. So. 
be very careful when working with one step paint to get it washed out immediately. I am going to lay this down. And again, I can see my blue lines through my stencil. And the adhesive does not want to go really tight to the terracotta, and that's kind of the nature of terracotta. So I'm gonna work from one side over, and you're gonna see me holding it in order to get the really good um, adhesion that I need to make a really sharp design. So we are gonna start on this side. I'm actually gonna turn it, y'all. Let me do this really quick and put it under so that I can use good hands. And I am up and down motion, up and down motion. When you look at it, when you're doing the up and down motion, you can see um, the texture in the paint, which is actually pretty cool. And a lot of times you can still see that texture when you're finished. And it just gives a little bit more um, character to your design. Again, I'm just working that piece down and making sure that it stays where I want it so that I don't change my lace design. Pull this tight again. Ted, how's that overhead? Great. I feel like I'm working way too close to my own body. It's really hard. Here we go. All right, friends. Again, just keeping that design as tight as I can on the terracotta. There are times that you're going to work on a surface that is more textured, and it is hard to get the stencil to fully adhere. That's nothing wrong with the stencil. It's just how the surface is responding to the adhesive. It's not a big deal. Just work slowly and use both hands. Make sure that you hold while you work. All right, so I have pounced. I don't see any holidays. A holiday is not a vacation. It is a spot where the medium has not gotten through your stencil. You don't want holidays. You want to make sure that you get great coverage. All right, friends, you ready for the big reveal? The serious peel? Oh my word. Look at that detail. It is absolutely gorgeous. That is grade A amazing. I'm going to set that in my water just like I had a minute ago. Anytime you're working with one step or gilding size, you want water with you immediately. So you can just set it right in there. Same thing with ceramic paints. All of those are permanent mediums and you want to make sure that they do not dry in your stencil. Look at that line. Painter's tape is your best friend sometimes. <laughs> if you want to do asymmetrical lines, if you want to do geometric shapes, painter's tape can be your very best friend to create amazing lines and incredible designs. I hope you guys have enjoyed getting to know our lace stencil today. As always, um, this is a new design and people are going to love it. And so if you love it, you're going to want to get your hands on it. Uh, so it's open. It's ready to be ordered. It is available on the website. Thank you for joining me today. Everybody send a little bit of love to Amy and tell her to have a great time. And just know that she was deeply missed as well as the fact that I've missed her. I know you guys have. So give her a little love. Thank you again for joining us for our wedding this weekend and for joining me today as I've gotten to share this amazing lace stencil with you. I hope you have an amazing, amazing Friday. Bye, friends.